let's talk about the omni studio now point and click power of salesforce industries i highly doubt that we really need to discuss about omni studio How? now we have already done that i mean everything actually you know everything that we have discussed up till now mm-hmm. or the features the like everything the capabilities these were the individual capabilities uh, that we discussed but now we combine all of these things into one and this is exactly what omni studio is called i mean this the combination that you have said you no know, of all these mm-hmm. individual capabilities is like for example you said that salesforce provide you different app right? mm-hmm. sales app but salesforce app. is ha 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 similarly velocity provide you this app omni studio all right so under that app you get all these features like omni, data, omni script data raptors integration mm-hmm. procedures flex cards calculation processes so metrics. all the features that we discussed about so basically it is a app it is an app omni studio got it under that you get all these features which are very like can be used uh, like along with each other mm-hmm. and are very re- relatable So that's Gone. what Omni Studio is. Again, with this block diagram, so it has got cards, flex mm-hmm. cards for the mm-hmm. good UIs. Mm-hmm. It has got Omni Script for the guided and the entire flow. process flow, mm. right? Along with Omni Script, there are a couple of uh, things that are used from a developer point of view, like integration procedures. Mm-hmm. Let's say you want to make some API integration from mm-hmm. a third-party application. Mm-hmm. So you use integration procedure mm-hmm. to connect with your external system. Mm-hmm. By the way. You can do external system connection without code. You you, you do not have to write down any API for that. No 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 no. You can Achha. configure it in named credentials and everywhere, and you just call it uh, using your like integration. It, and it is called as an integration procedure. Integration procedure is another uh, like tool. Tool mm-hmm. under that there are different a- actions like email action, HTTP action, remote action, response action. Which you can configure in a form or uh, which yes. point and click. Point and click in in a sequence. In a sequence, got it. Like for huh. example, first I want to data up. First, I want to load some data. I use a data wrapper. Sequentially. Ha, in a in a sequence, right? Ha. Sequentially. Then I want to process that data and maybe call my Apex. Mm-hmm. So I use HTTP action. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, remote action. Mm. Then I want to make some API call out. I use HTTP action. Mm. I want to send the email. I use email action. So basically, integration procedure is another tool. Under that, there are different actions. So you just drag this action, drop it here. do some configurations on top of it for example if you are using email action mm. definitely you will have to choose email template mm-hmm, of course to whom you are sending the email maybe the who id lead id contact id or whatever mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. so integration procedure procedure is that it takes care of all of these things yes so that's awesome. what uh, integration procedure can be called from an omni script all right so you build one functionality very complex and that is just one part of your omni script Got so it. you call one one integration. So the so the in the complete there. guided path is just one step. Yes, that's right. And again, industry data model. <laughs> that's a part of your Omni Studio. Got it. It's a complete suite. And uh, I I I don't think we need to discuss the benefits of Omni Studio as of now. We have already I discussed. I want to do one All one right. of it. Which uh, one? There is one code based versioning. All Second right. last one. Mm-hmm. So let's say you are a developer, mm-hmm. right? And you have built one Omni script. Like mm-hmm. just now, just just now, I got that issue right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's say you have built one Omni script, mm-hmm. and it is all up and running. Mm-hmm. It is all active, everything. Mm-hmm. And now your company wants some another additional features on that particular. Process. Let's say you, they want to add another step into that same process. Yeah, step or requirement or feature, anything mm-hmm. onto that same Omni script, same guided mm-hmm. flow. Mm-hmm. So you do not have to bother about that. You have to. You will have to stop that running version. You can create a version on top of your running version. Mm. Do the customization, do the changes, test it over there, dry run in everything. Mm-hmm. Once you believe and your QA approves that it is all fine to go live, you just activate the second version. So is is it similar to the way how it happen? How you, how it used to happen with process builder that you create another yes, version of it definitely. and then activate it and deprecate the earlier one. But I think with the process builder there is one problem. You can't test it without making it active. Huh. <laughs> the Omni script it is not the case. You can test it without even making it active. Got In the it. deactivated state, you can test it hmm. by giving the test data. Mm-hmm. You can preview it. So Got it. you can actually. So it's an individual sandbox that that is happening. Yeah. <laughs> not not uh, uh, yeah, replica. The replica that is getting created in which you can just do whatever changes yeah. you want to do and test it as well. And you can preview the entire well. UI without huh. activating it. Got and it. let's say you activated the version two. Huh. Due to some reason, it broke. Huh. You can quickly activate the version one and deprecate the uh, the newer one. Yes. So at least now you are safe. You are safe. safe. Yeah, you're you're safe. safe. You're because safe. you knew that version one was run running perfectly fine. Ah. So at least in a couple of clicks, you just activate the version one. Got it. Yeah. Got and you can again 
see that what what went wrong yeah. the, the, this is this is probably uh, probably the uh, one of the coolest features which was required to be discussed yes. thank you <laughs>